Bristow last Thursday staged their winter derby final meeting and punters outside had to wrap up warm as the snow came down. There were those who braved the freezing temperatures to visit the outside bar. On the track, Drupis Bocelli was in a hurry to get back to the warmth of his kennel as he broke the track record for 277 metres. There was an intriguing puppy event over 460 metres where Ardmail Courier, trained by Nick Sava, was made the 5-4 favourite. The main danger in the market was Ganon Parker from the Mark Wallace kennel. And away they go, racing up towards the first bend. Nice start, Ganon Parker going with it. Ardmail Courier after these comes insolvency list. So head round the first two bends. And it's Ardmail Courier with a lead here. Insolvency list burst into second. Uh, Ganon Parker looked a bit ponderous at that first bend. And they're getting away from the others as they go round the second last bend. And it's still with a lead here. Up front, Ardmail Courier by two and a half lengths. Back in second place at the moment is insolvency list. And that's how they're going to finish. Ganon Parker third. And still Staying on late, Bodell Meerkat. Well, in the original bar at Henlow, punters debated the merits of that performance from Ardmail Courier, who recorded 27.35. Others were just looking for a winner for the next. Outside, the weather got worse. But inside, in the warmth of the restaurant, customers were celebrating Christmas and having a good time. A year ago, Bob Morton bought a half share of the stadium from Kevin Boothby, and recently Bob's son Robert was made general manager. Robert, you've been general manager here for a few months now. How have you settled in? Oh, it's been fantastic, Clive. Really, really good. Really enjoy it and just love seeing people having a good time at the dogs. Was it what you expected? Not really. It's actually better than what I expected. I was expecting a lot of complaints, a lot of dull faces, a quiet stadium, but it's been absolutely fantastic. People have been great. The trainers have supported us. I mean, even talking to Mr McNair tonight, he said how fabulous it is to be here and it just, it was fantastic. Absolutely loving it. Well, it's a big night for you tonight, your winter derby final, obviously Christmas time, a lot of people in the restaurant, but how's it been maybe in the quieter times? It's been interesting because I was told it's going to be very quiet, but we've, we've pulled through and we've done well, we've made profit every single month, so that's really the key aims for us, to make a profit and to keep the restaurant busy, and we've been busy, so, I mean, the outside struggled a bit because of the weather and we struggle with our facilities, but it's been really, really good. So, Kevin, when Bob Morton came in with his offer, were you happy to accept? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Hey, one thing with, with Bob and the rest of his family, they're passionate behind ground racing, so it was a no-brainer, you know. And with Bob's help and our young Rob's here, you know, we can go forward in a big way. Not tricky working with the, the co-owner's son? No, it's fantastic. He's, he's enthusiastic, he's passionate, absolutely loves the racing, and uh, he's very good for this place. And your restaurant's packed this evening, a great atmosphere? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, every night, over the last sort of three or four months, we've been full in here. So, you know, hopefully we're booking the train and we can carry it on. Back on the track in the winter standard, Westmead Osprey, who'd been off for five months due to injury, continued his comeback for the Sava Kennel, sent off at four to six. It was then three to one, Bookies Bandit, and Eye on the Brave. And there they go, racing up towards the first bend. Bookies Bandit well away, but holding its ground to the bend on the inside, Eye on the Brave, and that goes on. A little bit of bumping at the turn, heading down the far side. Eye on the Brave leads here. Westmead Osprey's improved into second. After this comes Bookies Bandit there, getting away from the others. They come around the second last bend. Eye on the Brave now taken on by Westmead Osprey. After these back in third is Bookies Bandit. They come around the final bend. A great tussle between Eye on the Brave and Westmead Osprey. It's Eye on the Brave who'll win. Eye on the Brave beats Westmead Osprey. Bookies Bandit back in third. <laughs> well, Iron the Brave making most in 27.67 for Mark Wallace. Well, during 2009, there's been plenty of investment at Henlow, and there may be more to come, as general manager Robert Morton explains. Our plans to agree a new lease, and then from there to redevelop, knock down half the stadium and put up a really impressive restaurant, a two-tiered restaurant and a bar, and just to make it one of the, the best tracks in the country. Oh, Bob's got massive plans. I mean, with Bob involved, and obviously now Rob's here as well, you know, if we can get a good lease, then this stadium will train, train dramatically. And what about the track itself? That's, it's slightly quirky in its shape, isn't it? Will it, will it still retain that? Um, I don't think we can retain it. I think we're going to have to make a few adjustments to it and hopefully try and make it into a stiff 480. And Kevin, do you think you're in the right catchment area for a big stadium? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at MK, Stevenage, Luton, Bedford, you know, even as we are now, we're still been getting like 1,600 people a week in here. Uh, and we've been doing that consistently over the last three or four months. So I think with better facilities, you know, we can definitely fill the place. Not a problem. 
So on to the feature, the two and a half thousand pound Carlsberg winter derby over 460 meters. Two greyhounds caught the imagination of the punters, Jogger Duskace, who'd earlier this year won the William Hill Classic for Mark Wallace. He went to traps as the two to one favorite, whilst Jim Crack winner, Droopy's Bogart for Liz and Rab McNair, was a fraction bigger at nine to four and could cap a memorable week for the couple following Shaw's Dilemma's win in the Oaks. And away they go, and racing out towards the first bend. What a flyer from Jogodus Gase leads up early. Droopy's Bogart under pressure, gets a touch at the bend as well. Craggy Ted was balked. Ardira Dove may have caused it as they head down the far side. It's Jogodus Gase with a two and a half length lead. Droopy's Bogart's closing as they come into the third bend in the teeth of the gale here. It's still Jogodus Gase. Droopy's Bogart's now switching to the inside, trying to come up on the inside of that final bend. Jogodus Gase, Droopy's Bogart is close. Oh, so close. Following a photo, Jogodus Gase was given the verdict, recording 27.48 and winning by a short head. He needed to be at his best at the traps, and that's exactly what he was. The snow and freezing temperatures didn't dampen the celebrations, nor the enthusiasm for the winning owners. It's been a hell of a year for you, John. Yeah, fantastic year and a fantastic climax. Happy name with the derby, and he's come up trumps. Fantastic. He's done fantastic all year. Uh, Great dog, great dog, and best bit of investment we've ever made. I think I've yeah. talked for everyone now. And, and again, the Mark Wallace Kennels comes up trumps, end of, in my eyes, fantastic. Well, Winter Derby and the 40 Grand Classic, what, what a great year for the dog. It has, it's been really good, and uh, hopefully British Great Grand of the Year, you never know. That would uh, really sort of like cap the season off for us. So yeah, he don't owe us anything, and he's been, uh, he's been good fun. We've, uh, we've enjoyed him. And he must be in line for well, well, a standard nomination as well, standard dog of the year. Hope so. After uh, after the year he's had, it's been marvellous for us. Marvellous. Category one, category two, semi-finals, finals, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Masterpiece won the seniors race, but the rest of the meeting was abandoned due to the weather. But there were plenty of positives for 2010. So winter derby tonight, Robert. The Gold Cup, which is a new event next week. Anything uh, new for 2010 plans? Yes, we're planning three category one events: um, a 692 and a poppy derby and um, a greyhound derby as well so um, trying to get a mix of all the dogs here and trying to really to tempt them in for ten thousand pound of race to really get the best best dogs and the best quality over here so thinking big then yeah and hopefully try and get one on sky as well that's the main aim just to promote ourselves and get henlow on the map 